What's going on, everyone? It's me here, Jam. And uh, today in the tech world, or uh, it was kind of technically yesterday, but we're going to call it today, T-Mobile and Sprint agreed to merge. Finally, after all these years, you know, they've been talking about merging. I remember back in December, they were talking about a merger deal possibly going through. Uh, it didn't end up going through. But this time, it looks like it did. They reached a, a reached, excuse me, reached a deal for twenty six point five billion dollars. That's 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 a lot of money. Now, whether this will be approved, you know, is yet to be seen. I'm pretty sure it's been approved by the Trump administration, but we're not one hundred percent sure. They could say it's you know illegal business practices. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what's gonna come of this, you know. Are we, I know it's shrinking because our carrier size is shrinking from uh, four to three because now we have just one giant carrier. Um, are they going to operate as like the Sprint T-Mobile Corporation? Are they going to keep it as four and they're just going to be owned by the same company? Or, because I know they're merging, but are they going to be like the same company? Are they going to change their name to like, I don't know, National Wireless or something like that? Uh, Sprint Mobile? T-Sprint? Uh... S Mobile. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna change their name or what exactly they're gonna do, but they did say they were merging for twenty six point five billion dollars, which I don't know how I feel about this because this has taken a competitor off the market, but it's made another competitor even stronger. You know. So and it's also taken away I'm I'm wondering here. What about people who have T-Mobile and Sprint as service? I have Verizon, so I don't have to worry. And same with people who have AT&T. But to people who have like T-Mobile and Sprint subsidiaries like Boost, what exactly is going to happen for these people? Are they going to continue to receive Sprint Mobile or T-Mobile? Are they going to get a notification saying they got to go in and get the merger deal? They're going to be merging under this new national carrier and they have to, you know, resubscribe to this new one. Um, are their rates going to change at all? Uh, are they going to be not affected at all? I'm, I'm curious to see what, what's going to happen. I've, I have a couple of T-Mobile and Sprint phones, but they don't have service on them, unfortunately. I might have to get service on them just to see what happens. Um, yeah, I'd like to know. If you if you have T-Mobile or Sprint, let me know and tell me what's what, what you think is going to happen. And if it when it does happen, let me know what happens, if anything even happens at all. Um, same thing with their stores. I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. Like I know they have physical stores, but... They've been bought out. Are they going to change them all to T-Mobile Sprint stores? Are they going to open new stores in the old existing ones? Are they going to close them? What's going to happen? That's 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 one of my bigger questions. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen with this new merger deal. I mean, I think it's going to be for the better, but, you know, we can't be 100% sure that this is going to, you know, be for the better. It might be for the worse, but I think two companies merging like this might be... It's, it's something new, something we've never seen before because... The phones are a relatively new thing, and so is cell service. You know, we haven't had it for that long. If you don't count AT&T being founded way back in the 1800s. But most of them were founded in between 1920 and in between 2000. Verizon was founded in about the 2000s. T-Mobile, I believe, between 1940 and 1990. I don't know. It's kind of hazy. I'm believing 70s, 80s time. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know exactly when it was founded. Um, I'm not a aficionado on this i can look it up i know sprint was founded i think in the 20s i think i'm right uh let me look this up uh founded uh it doesn't say let me find their let me go to their website real quick or let's see about sprint wiki here we go founded 1899, but was not officially on the market until the 1920s, so I was kind of correct. T-Mobile. It's Moby. Here we go. And T-Mobile. 1994, 24 years ago. Okay, so I was right, kind of 1990s era, 80s with T-Mobile. Anyway, um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad... T-Mobile, I didn't have a problem with. I kind of had a problem with. Not really. Sprint, I had a couple of problems with. First of all, works for me. What kind of catchphrase is that? Or slogan is that? If you walk into a hospital and you say, eh, works for me. Or if you're buying a car dealership and they're like, hey, you know, here's this uh, 1992 
Honda Civic. You know, the wheels don't drive in the back. Uh, there's the family of raccoons in the trunk, and you're like, eh, works for me, you know. You shouldn't have to say works for me when you're purchasing a product. You should, you know, that's not something you should do. You wouldn't buy a car and just say works for me. I mean, a lot of people do, but you shouldn't. You wouldn't buy a house and say works for me, you know. let's. You wouldn't buy a phone and just say works for me unless you're one of those people who wants a burner phone. So I had a problem with that works for me. Second of all, T-Mobile. The problem I had with T-Mobile was their stores. I had awful customer service all the time. Um, I've been kicked out of a T-Mobile store one time, and it wasn't... I just, like, walked in there, and the guy's like, Hey, you gonna buy anything? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just looking. It's like, okay, get out. Yeah, that was in Arizona. I don't know if... I don't know if he was kidding or being sarcastic. He didn't seem like he was being sarcastic. I don't know if, um... I don't know if he was being serious. I don't think he, I think he was. Well, he was being serious. But ever since then, I, I don't get good service in T-Mobile stores. I don't like to go in them. Ever since that, that one guy, that one guy who might have been having a bad day, you know, kind of ruined T-Mobile for me. And I don't hate him as a company, but I I don't like the way that they had operated their stores. Now they may be different. Now uh, the T-Mobile store may you you know you may have Johnny over here, w- wonderful guy, greets you every time, bakes you a cake, uh, pours you. Uh, or is he a tall one? You know, gets you whatever you need. But the one I went to, clearly they didn't have that philosophy. But that's just my personal experience. Your skin different. Uh, that's about it for the Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile. Hmm. Might be a good name for the show, Tech Mobile. Tech Talk, I don't know. I, I want to turn it into a series. There's a lot more. We are pretty close to the unveiling of the LG G7 Thin Q. Um, I'm, I'm totally going to do a video about that in my tech news. I'm probably going to start this as a weekly series. Um, there's all kinds of new tech coming out. Obviously, we've got you know new iPhones this year. We're probably going to see the new OnePlus 6, the Asus Zenfone 5. I'm trying to think of what else we got. Uh, maybe some new Macs. I know some new iPads. Rumored iPhone SE 2 is still on the table. Um, the Galaxy X is still rumored, and we're rumored to see some new phones from companies like ZTE. Um, the Huawei P20 is here. I believe it's out, but um, I'd like to do coverage on that as soon as you know it hits mainland America. I haven't seen one yet, so I haven't been able to um, try it. Uh, the Banana Phone is coming out soon. That's a good thing. That's you know a lot of exciting tech this year. Notches look like they're the trend. Like on the Ukito U18, I will be out with that review soon. I hoped you enjoyed. I hoped you enjoyed. Was that technically a sense? I hoped you enjoyed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing video. Um, I know I didn't think it was that great with the lighting. Um, got an unboxing video coming at you tomorrow of a mystery product. As always, my review. No one keeps saying I'm gonna do it of the LG V20. I'm just trying to get some camera shots and samples here so that I have a lot to work with. But other than that. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we're going to try to get this video to uh, 10 minutes, so I'm going to, I'm just going to stop talking here, and I'm going to just play part of a news announcement where they talk about the T-Mobile. I'll just, I'll put the article up, or I could just keep talking, that works. If you're leaving because you were part of the T-Mobile thing, if you're still here because of T-Mobile, you can leave, you can leave, I'm just going to talk talk about some uh, channel news updates yeah um, there's not much going on I'm just trying to get this over 10 minutes got about a minute left anybody you got something they want to share you want to listen to some birds and cars can you hear the birds and cars I don't know I'm bored this is just, this is just filler time I can just put some music here you know what Listen to some free music. All right. I will see you in the next one. Enjoy this free music.